Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I just got to the office, haven't even taken a shower yet. Let me go wash off my face. Hold on. Oh my, I haven't even had time to get ready. I had to make this video, guys. The most important chart in cryptocurrency is making a move. You should know about this. You should know exactly what's going on because this means so much for Bitcoin and every single altcoin on the market. Keep watching. What's going on everybody? Alex back with another video and man, it is early today. I haven't even got my day started. I'm here providing you guys with live content. Guys, some of this is time sensitive. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you put the push notification bell on because I'm about to warm you up today. I'm gonna be showing you some charts. I'm gonna be showing you some news. This is gonna be a quick video. I'm not trying to waste your time. I just really think every single person on my channel, I have a moral obligation to tell you guys what's going on in the market right now because boy, it's important. It's probably the most bullish thing I have ever seen in my life. So if I bring up this chart here, the this is ADA, obviously, we're not looking at that. The first thing I want to look at is the total market capitalization of all cryptocurrency. I've been talking about this for a very long time. This is the most important chart in cryptocurrency. If this is not doing well, and by the way, we calling it like right here, right? If this is not doing well, let me just delete this as old some, some old TA. If this doesn't do well, nothing does well. Okay, I'm just telling you guys that straight up. And this is around the climate where pretty much everything is bullish. Look, we have Foundry Mining Pool opens to the public after quietly mining 780 BTC. We have things opening to the public. We have New York regu regulators awarding licenses. Okay, we have literally people selling digital art for $69.4 million. Like, that's ridiculous, right? Robinhood is saying that women are, are starting to trade crypto more and more. We have Russia coming out with digital current. Why is all these news coming out? I'm going to tell you something that nobody else would tell you because I have the resources that most people don't have. But guys, I'm literally looking at this website and it tracks the amount of code that's being upgraded, right? We just literally had three different Coinbase listings literally like yesterday, right? At the same time, a whole bunch of people at the same time are upgrading their code, trying to ca capitalize on this. Who knows about cryptocurrency the best, right? Probably developers, probably people that are in the infrastructure. They're all trying to capitalize on what I'm talking about in this video. Pretty much every single one of them are trying to capitalize on this next bull run that's about to happen, right? This rally that's about to happen in front of your eyes. I want everybody really, really paying attention because this is the time to make money. This is not the time to sleep, okay? So pay attention. You look so dumb right now. Everybody's on board. We're pushing, okay? And we're looking like we're gonna break. It looks probably like the best chance we've had since you know, the uh, last month, the best chance we had since last month to break the all time high in total market capitalization. Okay. We just rejected. Okay. So you want to keep your eye on this. Maybe you want to look at it on the one hour. Now we could keep coming down. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit here and say that's automatically going to go above this line. Right. But if you're not watching this, right, this is the most important chart in cryptocurrency. There's a lot of things you can do. Right. So just make sure you guys understand. So like when this chart looks bullish, when this chart is going up, everything does well and i could prove that to you right if we look at btc versus usd it looks the same it almost looks identical look at this it just looks like btc is more uh it's it looks like it's creating a massive cup and handle which is a bullish sign okay it looks more like a couple handles than the total market capitalization but you can kind of say the same thing this is bullish this is bullish and it looks like at the same time that the total market capitalization is trying to break its all-time high bitcoin Literally, well, this is the 11th. Yesterday, almost broke its all-time high at the exact same time. Sometimes it's not about looking at the individual projects. I've been telling you guys that for a very long time with my cycle trading strategy. It's it's about looking at where the flows of money are going. I don't know how like to explain this to you guys or help you prepare. Definitely, uh, take start taking your trading a little bit more serious, right? If you're not, I mean, I'm not trying to say that you guys are not. I'm just saying start looking to where the flows of money are going. It's more it's more important to see where the big lump sums of cash instead of your individual project. There's nothing wrong with investing in nfts and artwork and stuff like that or you know some altcoins but this is a lot more important you should be pulling this up pretty much every single morning if we look at ethereum it's pretty much it, this is the only one that's not making the same exact pattern it looks like bitcoin's taking some dominance and it's kind of falling a, a little bit not not a lot but i do expect ethereum to make a move as well definitely pay attention to that we're gonna have like obviously money flowing into bitcoin and then back into you know altcoins and then bitcoin and altcoin there's gonna be like a micro cycle within the macro cycle right now it's a bitcoin game now i'm not saying to buy bitcoin Ob obviously none of this is financial advice i don't know i just get excited when bitcoin starts breaking all-time highs because then i know that altcoins are just gonna soon follow something's going to happen right so if we look at for example the eth btc chart and uh, this is when this chart goes up ethereum looks good right when it goes down uh bitcoin looks good but it looks like we're going to bring this down a little bit 
we might be bouncing off very soon, right? So we could either bounce off here or make its way down to at least this level and then bounce off as well. I mean, we could even look at the Bitcoin dominance and the Bitcoin dominance is just skyrocketing. Uh, not not too much, but it's, it's been doing pretty well. I mean, we call this channel right here, broke out of the channel. So it looks it looks good. Now, a couple of plays that I'm looking at and keeping my eye on, of course, Polkadot looks extremely bullish and we're getting to that point right here. And this is Polkadot dominance in comparison to the total market cap. So if you haven't already scooped up some Polkadot, it might be a good time when it comes to the dominance chart. We have like a 20% increase and Polkadot's a very fair. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot. People get greedy in this market, but it sounds like a really good play, right? It sounds like a really good play uh, to uh, potentially scoop up some Polkadot. If you look at the altcoin perpetual futures index, we see Bitcoin's clearly stealing it right now, right? Bitcoin's clearly stealing it. Um, but again, when Bitcoin does well, it kind of leads the path for everything else. You can see the total market capitalization, excluding Bitcoin is kind of making the cup and handle formation, not exactly but it's making a very similar formation, which proves my point, right? Bitcoin's making this cup and handle, and so is the altcoins pretty much at the same time, right? Excluding Bitcoin. So, you know, again, Bitcoin makes a path. If you have some Bitcoin, hold it, on, hold, hold it, right? Because it's supposed to, I mean, if you look at traditional cup and handles, it's supposed to increase by 24%, which would put Bitcoin at approximately $70,000, $70, right? So if you're holding Bitcoin, you have this ride up, uh, all coins can rally at the same time. I mean, NFTs, by the way, are just this own beast. Like, I just want to give you guys a heads up on that. It's their own beast. Like, they're so asymmetrical right now. We're going to make a complete NFT video. I'm not trying to miss out anymore. I got in on the Polygon. I got in on the Engine Coin. I got in the Zilliqa, right, on this channel. We, we talked about it in our course. Um, we got in on the Ocean. We're making money, right? But I don't want to miss this anymore. I didn't get in on this. At, I'm probably going to make a video today as well. But, yeah, insane madness, craziness. Pay attention don't miss out on the nfts right if we look at the nfts pretty much all of them are mooning the whole market is asymmetrical right it's only seven and yesterday it was nine billion so it looks like some money exited but like look at these crazy numbers this is like DeFi 2.0 pay attention people are talking about nfts we're going to create a full complete strategy on this channel uh some type of checklist or some type of way to actually verify because it's like really hard to figure out the fundamentals behind these coins primarily i'm probably going to invest in infrastructure so it's something that we definitely want to pay attention to um, all in all, guys, I wanted to give you and make you aware of this massive cup and handle that's happening on Bitcoin, as well as the fact that we're going to potentially break the all time high with the total market capitalization of all cryptocurrency. I mean, if we do some quick TA, that looks like a rising wedge, right? So rising wedge, just to make sure, you know, I like to confirm it looks like it's going to break down. OK, so that's just some quick TA like that. But the fundamentals behind it looks extremely bullish. And this is only in the one hour time frame. So the relevance is a lot lower. In the short term, it looks like it's negative. Let's look at the, for example, the MACD, right? I'm doing this like all live, by the way, guys. Like I literally just got to the office, saw this pattern, and we're doing it right in front of your face. If we look at the four hour, it might show a different story. And yeah, it's, it's showing the same story. So it looks like it's probably going to break to the downside in the short term, maybe. Let's look at a daily, for example. The daily looks the opposite, though. If you look at it on the daily, I mean... It's pretty much telling the opposite story. Like, look at this right here. But the daily um, looks bullish. So this is why sometimes you want to zoom out. If you were to ask me, to be completely honest, I think maybe for the short term, we might break down, at least for today. And then we'll see like a giant leg up just because of the bullish news that's happening. These NFTs are getting sold for ridiculous amounts of money. So just pay attention, guys. I just want to make you aware. I just want to make sure you guys are on point. But yeah, if you appreciate that, guys, definitely subscribe to the channel and share this with as many people as possible. But that's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, I say it every time. If you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Let me go like take a shower and work out. Damn, man, my day started off early. I started off early. Thanks for watching.